Good Monday morning, Gallatin County. It is raining again. And um, so today I am coming to you with a book that is very, very good. And it is about friendship and making friends and keeping friends. Um, sometimes, especially when someone is new to our classroom or our school, they sometimes have a hard time making friends, and sometimes we don't always give them the opportunity to be a friend to us. Sometimes we immediately turn our backs because of the way they look, or we just feel like we're too busy with our other friends that we don't make time for new people and new friendships. And that is what our book is going to be about today. We are going to hit habit four, which is think win-win. Um, doing things where both people are happy in the end. It's also going to hit habit five, seek first to understand, then be understood, meaning thinking about the other person's feelings instead of your own. And then habit seven is also going to be involved because we're going to be diving into the realm of taking care of the heart, doing good things for others. Being a good friend makes you feel good about yourself. So um, doing good things for others and making them feel loved and appreciated, that just makes you feel better about yourself. And it's just a good thing to do. So today's book is Peanut Butter and Cupcake by Terry Border. Peanut Butter got a ball for his birthday. He was kind of bad at kicking it with his feet, but was kind of good at balancing it on his head. Still, it wasn't much fun playing with a ball all by himself. I really like the pictures in this book because it's kind of like photographs. Want to play with me? He asked his mom. They had just mo moved to town and Peanut Butter didn't have any friends yet. I think you should go outside and find someone to be your new friend, she answered. How do you think Peanut Butter might be feeling about going out and finding a new friend? You probably would not say happy, but what feelings do you think he might have? If you said nervousness, being scared, um, I would agree with you. I think it's scary and makes you very nervous to go up to somebody new and introduce yourself. So that's probably how Peanut Butter is feeling. Peanut Butter liked that idea very much, so off he went. It wasn't long before he saw a someone. Now the author just told us that Peanut Butter liked that idea. That doesn't mean that he wasn't nervous about it though. He might have liked the idea and thought it was a good idea, but that doesn't mean that those feelings in his belly of feeling nervous about meeting someone new wasn't there. Sometimes things that I wanna do make me nervous. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and hamburger. I'm sorry, said Hamburger, but I'm busy walking the dogs. Thanks for asking, though. You're welcome, said Peanut Butter. Maybe next time. And he kept on walking. I also think that this is funny. Hamburger's walking the dogs. What kind of dogs does he have? Hot dogs. That's really funny. Then he saw Cupcake playing by herself. He thought she looks sweet and might make a good friend. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and cupcake. I'm building sprinkle castles, said Cupcake. You can stay and watch, but don't hit my castle with your ball or I'll be mad. Peanut butter didn't want to make anyone mad. Uh, that's okay, peanut butter said, and he kept walking. Then he saw Egg rolling down the path. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and egg. 
Peanut butter and egg, that's funny. You're cracking me up, Egg laughed. And then he really did crack. Peanut butter didn't want the egg to laugh anymore, so he kept on walking. He found someone jumping. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and meatball. 32, 33, 34. Shh, I'm counting my jumps, said Meatball. 35, 36, 37. I'm trying to set a record. Peanut Butter whispered back, but I have this ball. And 38, 39, 40. Shh said Meatball. Peanut Butter kept walking. Finding a new friend was harder than he thought it was going to be. What word would you use to describe Peanut Butter now? Maybe sad or let down? I would use the word discouraged. Then Peanut Butter saw another someone sitting under a tree, and that was good because he was ready to sit down too. Even though he was getting tired, he gave it another try. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and french fries. Not right now, said french fries. I just remembered I'm supposed to help Hamburger with his hot dogs and I need to catch up. Peanut Butter walked up to one more someone who was practicing his ABCs, but before he could open his mouth, Soup picked up a spoon, dipped it into himself, and then showed it to Peanut Butter. In the spoon were two letters, an N and an O. He didn't even give him a chance. But I didn't even say anything yet, said Peanut Butter. You didn't have to, said Soup. Oh, said Peanut Butter. Is Soup using Habit 5? Is he even giving Peanut Butter a chance to be a good friend? He's not doing a very good job thinking about Peanut Butter's feelings, being quite selfish. Peanut Butter found a bench to sit on. He was almost ready to give up, but as he sat there, so very sad, a new kid walked up to him. Hello, she said. Peanut Butter took a deep breath. Um, hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and... Jelly! Sure, I'll be your friend, said Jelly. But could you teach me how to keep the ball on my head? I'm only good with my feet. So they taught each other what they knew Habit four. and made each other chuckle deep down in their bellies. I said habit four because it's a win-win. Peanut butter was going to show how to balance on the head and Jelly was going to show peanut butter how to use his feet. That's a win-win. It wasn't long before their laughing made the other kids come over. They asked if they could play too. Of course, Peanut Butter and Jelly were happy to let them join in. Habit five. As his new friends knocked the ball around with their feet and their heads, and in one case their buns, <laughs> Peanut Butter chuckled deep down in his belly because they all went together like peanut butter and hamburger and cupcake and egg and meatball and french fries and soup and jelly. I want you to look at Soup. He's got W-O-W. -W. That spells wow. The end. So Peanut Butter ended up making a good friend in the end. And actually, that friendship kind of spread. He ended up being friends with everybody. Sometimes it just takes a little courage to go up to someone new and introduce yourself and you might get turned down, but eventually you will find somebody who is understanding and wants to be a friend with you as well, just like Jelly did.
for peanut butter. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good Monday. Bye.